Hey guys, it's Game Face, and welcome back to episode 9 of my Tottenham career mode. We're back with face cam this episode, so you get to see this face, unfortunately for you. Uh, in today's episode, we've got plenty of matches to get through. Hopefully, we'll be playing two or three games. We'll also be seeing a couple of games which I think are less important to play. Uh, so, looking forward to trying to get through December, probably in two episodes. So, this episode, next episode. Then we'll have the giant new transfer window so we can bring in some more players and sell some more as well. Look forward to today's episode. Uh, some good games for us to play. Watford to kick things off, but also some other competitions. We've got Benfica as uh, playing the Champions League. Stoke and Brighton will probably sim so we can try and play the game against Man City. Before we go any further into today's episode, though, I'd appreciate you dropping a like on today's episode to support this series on my channel. And don't forget, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as we try and push towards 20,000 subscribers. Let's take a look at the team to kick off this episode. Butland starts in goal, Klein, Dyer, Stones and Rose at the back. We've got Bale, Henderson, Kearney, Rashford, Alley in midfield, the Harry Kane starting up front for us. Let's crack on with things. Let's try and beat Watford if we can. Currently in a great position, top of the league table with the game in hand. We could get onto 40 points from 14 games, which would be fantastic. And that'll put us 15 points over the Man City. Right then, here we go with Watford. Big game for us here. Away at Watford for this match. They've obviously had a good start to the season in real life. Hopefully they're not in quite a good form going into this game against us. Um, I'm hoping we can come away with a good three points, as we have done in, well, virtually every single game so far in this league season. Still yet to lose a match, I think. I imagine that at some point we will end up dropping points. I mean, it might even be in today's episode, because we are going to be simming two games, I think. So, sometimes you have slip-ups. We'll wait and see, though. Let's focus on this game. Let's try and win it. Kane, good chance here for Bale. If he can shoot, all oh, big save from the keeper. Clings onto it as well. Bale should probably score that one. One on one with the goalkeeper. Just had to put it into the left side of him for some reason. It was saved. I can't believe that. Should really take an early lead there. Oh, what a ball that is to Bale. Bale has to score this. One on one. Saved again. Oh, Delhi can't put it in either. I think the defender gets to it first. It's out for a corner. Tom Kearney to deliver into the box, and it's not a great ball. Straight to the guy at the front post. A chance to get it back in. This might be better. Headed out again. Deli Alley trying to keep it alive. Rashford saved again by the goalkeeper. We could be two or three up at this point. Not taking our chances. Bale coming inside on his left foot to shoot. Oh, what a finish from Gareth Bale. No finesse needed. Just smashed it home into the back of the net. This time it beats the goalkeeper. And we're taking the lead 1-0. About time as well, really. We've had lots of chances. But 17 minutes in, we get the breakthrough goal. And um, for some reason, stood the advertisements board there. Pretty sure we're celebrating right in front of the Watford fans as well. It's a really good hit, though. No one gets close to Bale at all. No one stops him from shooting. You're never going to stop that as the goalkeeper. Kane, now going to play into Rashford. Big chance for Rashford. Still going. Oh, deflects. Thought it deflected at the front post, but just goes wide. And we'll take a short corner this time. Tom Kearney to play to Danny Rose. Rose to try and deliver it in. Oh, it's actually gone in. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. The cross wasn't particularly great. But I think it's Harry Kane or Henderson. No, it's Eric Dyer, the captain, who gets on the end of it to double our lead. And we're now winning the game 2-0, 28 minutes in. Fantastic uh, for us so far. It's been one-way traffic, really. Watford struggling to handle us, really, at the back. The goalkeeper's the only player that's been sort of stopping it from being about 5-0, really. No, big chance for Will Hughes. Big save from Butler, no response. And, oh, just wide. So close. Probably Watford's first chance of the game, and they nearly scored it. Really good opportunity there for them to pull them back. Kane, great pass that is to Rashford. Now on his left foot, back across. Oh, so close that was from Gareth Bale. I think it might have been there with the connection. That's it for the first half. Still remains 2-0. Impressed with our first half, really. We've looked very, very comfortable. Other than one chance for Watford, they've not really done that much other than that. So, really impressed. Uh, we'll move on to the second half straight away. No. Oof. Should have scored that. Troy Deeney lacked the cojones there quite clearly. Should have scored that right in front of goal. Jesus, that was terrible. I don't care what foot that is. It has to go to the back of Kane, get a goal. Oh, saved. I thought it was going in. Kane's not had a goal in ages. He needs a goal. He's in a bit of a drought at the moment. Luckily, the rest of the team isn't, and they're managing to be carried by everyone else. But Kane's certainly struggling, but Delhi isn't. He scored a headed goal there. Much better uh, crossing for us that time round. Uh, Delhi adds a third to the scoreline. Ten minutes into the second half, and the lead's looking even more healthy now. Just going to make sure we don't end up conceding a goal at this point. want to try and keep a clean sheet if we can, and um, I'm hoping we should be able to do that. They've not had that many chances, just two chances, both of which they probably should have scored, but uh, there we go. Delhi Alley getting nine goals in the Premier League so far, only 14 games in. Very impressive. Might be our top goal scorer as well. No, it's going to be a goal. It's happened a few times, but uh, this time it's enough for them to score. And it's now 3-1. We lose the clean sheet. 25 minutes left. Delefe scores the goal. But like I say, they could have had two other goals. It could be 3-0 at this point. Uh, we haven't been clinical enough ourselves. It could have been 5-6 or six for us. 
Um, but for Watford, they haven't been clinical enough either until this point. Uh, we've taken that chance, and it's now 3-1. They're back in this game. That's got to be a free kick. You can't just let that go. That had to be a free kick. Go on, Rashford into Delhi, and there we go, back in front by three goals again. Delhi scores the second of the game, it's 4-1, and that should be game over at this point, you would have thought, there's 20 minutes to go, I'm probably going to look at some changes now, I think. Uh, Benfica's in about three days' time, we should have already qualified uh, in the group, as far as I'm aware, so there's no real need to, I think, put a strong team out for that game, so... Um, we'll just have a little look at the bench here. It's a little bit of a strange bench. I don't know why I skipped Storm there. We'll bring him on though. We'll bring on Skip. We'll bring on Session as well. We'll take off Delhi and Gareth Bale. I don't think we'll make any other changes just yet. Um, I'm pretty sure that'll be us done really for the game. Well oh, played. Session is he back in a great position here off the defender. Needs Harry Kane in support. Kane, just get in the right position please, Kane. Yes. Finally scores. And it's 5-1. Harry Kane ends his goal drought. And it all comes from Session. I'm just been a little bit too lively for the defender there, just winning it back uh, with his fresh legs and uh, managed to play it through to Harry Kane, who was obviously free for a little tap in there. 5 1, and it's very much game over here 15 minutes ago. Yes, well played, Rashford. Now to Tom Kearney. Rashford should be through here. He's ahead of Cathcart. Marcus Rashford to make it 6, and he does. It's 6 1, and it's really good play. It's again Rashford who starts the attack really by winning it back quickly off the defender. And a quick little break, a few little players get a touch in, in the ball, and it falls to Rashford who can run through and score. 6-1, four minutes to try and nick another. Kane through to Rashford, got to be onside here. Marcus Rashford to shoot, and he'll score, it's another goal, we managed to get another 7-1. Marcus Rashford does, does it again, and it's a thrashing at this point, I mean it's crazy. Uh, the scoreline could have been 10 as well, we had a lot of good chances in that first half. Been much more clinical in the second half, and that's resulted in a scoreline which sees us put seven goals past Watford. Incredible stuff. And that's how it finishes 7 1. I mean, it's a victory we'll definitely remember. It's absolutely thrashing here against Watford, who just didn't really turn up, particularly in the second half. Um, they only really had one chance, which they scored. First half, they did a little bit better, but still didn't do enough. You see by the stats, it was domination, really. 17 shots, 13 on target, 7 goals. Not bad. Okay, so next game, it's Benfica. Plenty of changes for this game. Uh, 10 changes, I think, in fact. Uh, Jack Butland does remain in goal. Though. Kieran Trippier, Las Sellers, Evans, and Ben Davis at the back. Shashuba, Winks, uh, Oakley Boo, Session, and Madison midfield. We've got Ings starting from Flores there. Stones, Walker Peters, Dyer, Skip, Ali, Bennett, and Kane on the bench. So yeah, quite a change team, but I think it's necessary. We're already through as top of the group, so there's no need to play big players. I've got another game in three days' time. So we'll do that. We'll rest some players for this match and just hope that we win anyway. Okay, there we are at Wembley Stadium for this game against Benfica. Let's try and just end the group stage with another victory, even though we're already through as top. Uh, it would be nice to just try and get another win anyway. Chance, big save from Jack Butland. Quick start from Benfica. They might be bottom of the group, but they're certainly not a bad team. Uh, they're starting off very lively here and desperately trying to win this game by the looks of it. According to defend inside four minutes. Got to try and close the way through Trippier. There's also a couple of other players around. Still a chance of Benfica. We've got to clear this one. Take a little bit longer about it than we should be. And let's just get that one out, please. Thank you. Great ball through there to Session. Big chance to Session. Now it's 1 0. Great pass from Madison, by the way. Just cuts it nicely between the fullback and the centre back. Plays in Session, who can shoot and score pretty quickly there. And inside 30 minutes for taking the lead. Got a bit of a, a better grip of the game, uh, having had a start which wasn't that great. Benfica were on top. We now managed to find our feet a little bit more and we get an early goal. Uh, can't say it's massively deserved. It's been fairly balanced since we started the match, but we'll take the lead anyway. Big chance to Danny Ings. Can he shoot and score? Yes, he can. 2-0, double that lead. Just about seven minutes later, I think it was. Five, six minutes later, maybe. And Danny Ings has scored, and it's another goal for us. Really impressed by the way of attack there as well. Quick bit of passing. Madison straight to Danny Ings. He managed to lose his man. Cuts him on his right foot. Gets a shot away. There's no stopping that. 2-0. And we're looking a lot more comfortable in this game now. Benfica have dropped off a little bit since we scored. And that's allowed us really to get a second. Oh, Butland, careful. That was a little bit close. It's half time, it's 2 0. Really happy with the scoreline right now. Uh, looking very strong. And about Fika not really having that many chances since they sort of dominated the opening 5 10 minutes. Since then, they've not done much. And we are looking very much in control here. And needing really a third goal just to secure things, really. Lovely play to Kieran Trippier. Now we're going to try and find Madison if he can. There's also a couple of other players. Session Volley did, but it's saved easily by the keeper. No, come on, that was terrible, what was that? Butland should probably save it as well, it's right at him. 
just felt it come in as well, just as they got the quick passing suddenly going before I knew it, the ball was at the back of the net, didn't know what had happened. 2-1, Benfica pull them back, and with 30 minutes to go, they're definitely back in this game now. That's why we needed the third goal, uh, just to make sure we had a bit of a, a better lead over them. You see the quick passing though, I wasn't really expecting it. The Sellers doesn't say with his man, and Butland gets something on it, but it's not enough. 2-1. First two trainers, Bennett's going to come on, so will Walker Peters. We'll take off Madison and Shashua. Session playing as a centre back in mid, we'll move Trippier over to right mid, and we'll do that for the final 30 minutes. Bennett's obviously hoping he can try and build from his hat trick that he got last episode and nearly got a goal after a couple of minutes of being on the pitch. He does look very lively and looks like a good player with a lot of movement, so it's uh, nice to see. Walker Peters charging forward once again, trying a left footed cross maybe. Yes. Oh, what a goal that would have been as well for Bennett's. What a chance. Fantastic ball in, great header, but unfortunately it was saved. Ings over to Bennett's. Bennett's with a chance. Oh, I thought he was going to score. It's not a good shot in the end. That's it, finishes 2-1. Very happy with that result. We'll take it. Three points, very good considering the team put out for that game. Obviously a second tier team, but uh, impressed that we've managed to sort of put on a good performance there. We should have really probably got a third goal, but we'll take it and it gets us through the group stage on 16 points, which is very good. Uh, from six games. I think Besiktas went through as well as us. I'm pretty sure they drew to Leipzig and I think they were already second before the game. Some tournament prize money from that, £18.5 million. Pounds. Also got a transfer from coming in again for the same Cypriot guy. Keep on accepting bids, keep on breaking down. We're going to keep on accepting it though um, and then eventually we'll probably just release it if he doesn't leave from any of these deals. Okay, so it's this game against Stoke City. This is the team going to go with Butland, Klein, Lacella, Stones, Davis, Winks, Henderson, Shashua, setting on Manasone Ings. Still quite a changed team who's got some more games to play before the Man City one. Let's see how we get on. Hopefully going to win this game at Stoke. We'll pretty much sim it near enough straight away. Uh, one all. Okay. Okay. We dropped two points, but we didn't lose the game. That's the most important thing, I think. Sessio on so close to 76 overall now. Unfortunately, isn't quite there just yet. Next game against Brighton. This is the last one we're going to be simming so we can get into playing against Man City the next game to finish off today's episode. Change team again. Butland, Klein, Evans, Stones, Davis, Winks, Henderson, Madison, Sassion, Ali and Danny Ings starting. So a few better players brought in for this game. And Madison playing the right-hand side. Uh, Deli Ali coming into the team as well. Let's skip the match. 3-1 victory. Klein hat-trick. He scored in the last game. It's a hat-trick in this game. Four goals in two games for the right back. Incredible. He saved us there as well. I'll take that. He's basically top goal scorer now. He's got more goals than Kane. No, he genuinely does. I actually didn't realise that he genuinely does have more goals than Harry Kane now. Yeah, so he's got more Premier League goals than Harry Kane. Kane's got three Premier League goals. Klein's got four. Um, Harry Kane's got more total goals, to be fair. Let's not have a go at him too much. He's got 16 assists, Harry Kane, so far this season. He's doing very well. 10 assists in 13 Premier League games. He's got the most out of anyone, so it's not like he's not doing anything. He's doing a good job for us in that sense. Transfer talks break down once again. We're just going to release him, I think, next time I'll be bothered. And uh, let's go into this final game against Man City. First of all, the transfer for coming in this time for one of our young centre-backs. Very much a similar sort of case to the Cypriot player, where we keep on accepting things and it keeps on breaking down. Okay, this is the team. Jack Butland, Klein obviously starting, given his recent form. Dyer, Stones and Rose are also in defence. Gareth Bale, Henderson, Kenny, Rashford, Ali and Kane also starting with Lascelles, Ben Davies, Oakley Booth, Winks, Madison, Session, Ings on the bench as well. Let's go with things. The final game of today's episode against Manchester City. A tough game against third in the league. If we win the match, though, we put ourselves considerably far in front of them. Uh, 17 points with a game in hand. Not a bad lead, but we've got to beat them first. OK, we go at the Etihad Stadium against Man City. A big game for us here. Hopefully we can be the better team and uh, end up putting a good performance and a performance that's good enough to beat Man City. It's obviously a tough game. On paper, they've certainly got a better team than us. Um, but currently in the league table, we are doing better than them. Delhi trying to look to Harry Kane. Could Kane get a goal here? Tight angle, but it's saved by the goalkeeper. Always going to be tough to score from that sort of position, I think. No, De Bruyne's going to score. Rubbish. Could see it coming a mile off as well, just as soon as De Bruyne came forward and I dragged my defender out of position. Left a gap for him to do a 1-2, that's exactly what happened. Read it like a book, but unfortunately couldn't stop it. 15 minutes in and Man City have taken the lead. Frustrating one for us because it's really sort of amateur at the back there. A classic case of getting drawn in by a player and then losing that position uh, and then conceding. No, it's going to open up again. This time for Bernardo Silva. Gets a shot away. Can't really allow that with John Stones. I think it was there. Luckily, Butland's there to save it and still remains 1 0. Rose, chance for him to cross in. Kane's there. He misses it. Bale scores. No, he doesn't. That really is embarrassing. Thought he banged it in the back of the net there. Clearly not. Still remains 1 0 Man City. Kane should have scored that. It's on a plate for him. You can tell he's really struggling for form. 
and uh, that should have been one all that. Okay, half time. We're the game one nil to Man City here. I'm actually a little bit worried at this point. I usually wouldn't be at half time, so still the 45 minutes to play, but I just don't feel like I've got the quality. Um, on the pitch or on the bench to be able to match Man City or beat them here. So I'm a little bit worried. I think we might have to rest for a draw if we can get it. Even that might be tricky for us. Um, but certainly 1-0 down, I'm slightly worried at this point. Rashford still going, turning, shooting, big save by Edison. Much better start to this half. Danny Rose going to play to Stones. Go on, Stones. Ambitious. Tom Kearney through to Delhi. This has to be a goal. About time. It's one all. Delhi scores of equalised. It's a really good start to the second half. Exactly what we had to do is flip the game on its head. And we've done exactly that. Opens up brilliantly here. Kane into Kearney. Through to Delhi, And that's just a nice little left foot flick into the back of the net. One on. Delhi. Through to Bale. Chance for it on his right foot. There we go. 2-1. We're in front for the first time in this game. Gareth Bale does it. On his right foot. We look so much better in the second half now. Uh, much better. Man City not quite looking as tight to the back this time as well. Uh, allowing Gareth Bale to run through and have a good strike on goal. 25 minutes left. We are in front. And hopefully it's going to stay like that now. Pep making a change. Bring on Raheem Sterling. Wish I had a £50 million pound player on the bench. Bring on. I'm going to bring on Winks instead. So homegrown talent. Tom Kearney coming off. And he's got himself booked within two minutes. So yeah. That was a good sub wasn't it? There we go, Bale's running through here, not many at the back here for Man City. Gareth Bale to finish off the game. What the that? Just blasts over the bar. Go on, Delhi. So close to a third. It's gotta be it now, ref. Blow your whistle, come on. Blow your whistle, ref. No, no. Oof. That's it, that's gotta be it. Surely, come on. Why haven't you blown yet? Yes, there we go, finally. 2-1 victory. We beat a Man City just about, managed to grab that game just about in the second half there. Did enough to get the two goals and win the game, but Man City could really capitalise on that first half performance and should really have had at least two goals. Um, but yeah, like I say, we've got a little bit fluky there and we take away three points once again from this game. Nine shots, four on target, clearly not um, our usual selves, but Man City are a very good team, so it's understandable. We only really played one half of the game. And that pretty much concludes today's episode. Got through quite a big chunk of December, which I wanted to do in today's episode. Got a game against Leicester City literally just two days later uh, to play next episode, so looking forward to that. Still got Burnley, Southampton, West Ham to play. We'll get all those games done next episode, so that uh, on episode 11 we can go into the January transfer window, start to try and sign some players, sell some players, because we are a little bit light in a couple of positions. I mean, we come up against Man City there, and we clearly don't have the good enough team, um, but we somehow can wear the victory. So I'm pleased with it anyway. Uh, we've got another email to take a look at, not feeling up to it. Uh, not surprised, the last game was two days ago, so Bale will drop out for the next game, and it'll be a heavily changed team. But that is everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I appreciate you dropping a like, and also subscribing uh, to this channel as well if you haven't already. That would be absolutely fantastic, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode. Goodbye.